Summary horse, take it away. All right, guys. All right, check if you're recording. Oops. Uh, my apologies, summary horse. Also, Venmo uh, me, fuckers. Three. I did. I know you did. All right. Uh, hey, guys. Venmo me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, last episode, uh, the last chapter was pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, it almost died and stuff. Uh, but they're just kind of chilling out in this basement library. Uh, they're like fixed books or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I think this is going to be a real boring one. Like, it's nothing. They're, they're in a place. Like, there's no danger. <laughs> and yet soon the danger will appear. Like, I have appeared in your mind, Mr. Horse. Summary Goblin, you can't watch kids while they sleep, all right? It's not cool. <laughs> and you're, and you're the only being that you can You have no it's power <laughs> here. <laughs> can we do a canon joke where, like, we, I want to, oh, because you said. Summary Horse hates Summary Goblin. That yeah, is canon. No, that's canon. But, but what I also love is that how, like, you're the druid, the only person who's like, really in touch with nature is the only person who's kind of like nobody heard that right <laughs> and I like the idea that like there's like there's this B plot where you're like trying to solve this <laughs> psychosis <laughs> it's funny because you play the guy right. so it's double funny I'm trying I'm gonna get either Lou or the summary horse to go full Norman Osborn <laughs> I want you to go uh, full Shutter Island with all these can characters. we have a brief finish it <laughs> can we have a <laughs> Can we have a brief conversation between the Summary Goblin and the Summary Horse taking place entirely in Summary Horse's head? <laughs> well, no. I was talking to Jake about yeah. how like you, I can't wait for you to meet Summary Horse, and he's not here right now, and you started uh, yeah. doing it. And I was like, no, wait! Oh, shit. By the like, way, next campaign, I want to I, I want to be Summary Goblin as my actual character. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then Summary Horse could be a character, too. Oh, I'm going to be you know, Summary you know, Horse. Okay, I already said Tyler could be a College of Lore bard. I'm flexible, but I mean, I'm going to be Summary Horse. You just, our horse! <laughs> Connor's playing our horse! Can he be a stout? Isn't there a I'll creature that's a horse? No, I'm just taking the, I'm taking. <laughs> you can be a centaur that tells the story! Are they tanks? I only like tanks. Um, centaurs are if tough. If you play a centaur as a fighter, sure. Or you Centaur go, barbarian? You go, or you could go paladin. I want to yeah. punch stuff. So here's the deal, right? <laughs> paladin, you get armor, you mm. get magic, you get healing. You also have a thing called smite. Mm. And that is you use a spell slot to charge your weapon with holy power and do oodles, canoodles, and toaster strudels of damage. Wow, that's a lot of oodles. Yeah. Um, uh, Pelicans are fucking dope. Anyways, can we... Can I, I think it's OP and he shouldn't be allowed to use it. Can I please see a conversation between <laughs> Summary Horse and Summary Goblin taking place entirely in Summary Horse's summary head? Summary Goblin, I keep telling you, I know they're technically of the legal <laughs> age, but you can't watch people sleep. It's not cool. <laughs> summary Horse, just do it the next time they're in the carriage. Throw them into the ditch and then you and I, we can take the gold. Okay. We can be the adventurers. I'm not, I'm not going to fucking do that. Uh, <laughs> you, why are you weak, Norman? <laughs> you named it. <laughs> oh yeah, the horse didn't have a name. Well, he's Norman Osborn. <laughs> no, but, I mean, I like the people that like ride me to name me, man. It's not cool. You are broken and tamed, Norman. But I'll make you real. I'll make you <laughs> grasp power with oh, your fucking hooves. Uh, you know what? Yeah, when I figure out a meta metaphor, listen, summary just horse. Just because they gilled us, that doesn't mean we're any less masculine, okay? <laughs> the re That's, you know what I'm gonna say is that's a really hurtful stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I felt because you brought it up. I didn't say anything. Of course, you don't need to be a penis to be masculine, but you do need some fucking I balls, Norman. <laughs> the metaphorical kind, which you don't have. I'll steal them from another horse and put them in you. <laughs> that sounded like you were sobbing. Like, <laughs> you were like, you don't have. He's like, what you bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll steal them from another horse and put them. How much would you pay for Willem Dafoe to hear this podcast and go, "Yeah, I'll do a reading. Fuck, oh, I'll, do, I'll do a cameo for that." <laughs> He's done weirder things. Like Lighthouse was amazing. Did you see the movie uh, Antichrist? <laughs> no, I want to. He's got okay. a huge. Jonathan, meat. tell me about it later. <laughs> Actual summary, summary horse. <laughs> All right. You know how much I've sacrificed. <laughs> so yeah, you know, like I was saying, these guys are. You know, they just got back from this really messed up adventure, and Lou had to kind of confront some of his regrets, and, uh, well, he got some decent closure with that. He also got a cool scar, which, you know, <laughs> it's not bad. For the ladies. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I, this is going to be really boring. I mean, they're just, they're in a library. Nothing bad can happen to you in a library. Except for anyway, being illiterate. Let's <laughs> find out. So if I wake up screaming at the books. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, so, as you guys wake up, 
uh, you hear Barnier, who you, you can hear like the tapping of her cane. <laughs> that she rhythm goes, of like. She goes, would you, uh, would you gentlemen like to join us in the common room for breakfast? Yeah, we promised mm-hmm. a kid that we would join her for breakfast. Oh, of course. I don't break promises. I say way too seriously. <laughs> okay, daytime, Annie. Shelby, uh, or Shelby, Gail B., uh, you see her with two chairs next to her, and she's doing that thing where she puts her hand over it, even Hell though yeah. clearly nobody's trying to sit there. <laughs> it's for me. <laughs> Good morning, please. Good morning, Protec. Yeah, are those morning. our seats? Yes. Yeah. Just for you. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have coffee around here? Uh, you know what? Uh, bean juice. Crinkle goes ahead and pours that. Uh, she pours one it's for magic. you. And it's then a bean like, concoction. <laughs> gotten from the new world. Ah. I deny it because it would hurt me. She, she has the coffee pot like you guys. Like, oh, oh. I uh, yes, I, love, I take I love a cup, yeah. some coffee. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then mm-hmm. Kellen, you mm-hmm. start humming this. Mm-hmm. I just started doing "Oh Joy, My Mistake." My apologies. Uh, <laughs> I lost it. Okay, so uh, it's, like, it's like this. Kellen, you start like. A nursery rhyme. <laughs> And then, what are you, a haunted Victorian child? And then, and then what's, My what's, nanny killed what's me. What's weird is uh, you guys start humming too. Catchy. You don't know where you've heard this sound, this song before, but then uh, as you keep doing it, Edgar kind of like, like very passive aggressively like puts his book and goes, "Excuse me, uh, this is still a library. Let's keep it down, please." Humming is the quiet one. Mm-hmm. Why the rest of us talk? Uh, but then, but then, as he, as, I figured since we noticed it, but right? as you guys like, but then all of a sudden he starts going. I start doing, <laughs> tr- or just oh yeah, but, the way, and start but then before it. you know it, like all of you are are, are humming along, and Barnier like you just see the color drain from her face, and she takes off as fast as she can towards uh, the entrance where you guys came down here from. Mm. Someone doesn't uh, like follow music. Her. You follow her? Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, uh, yeah. Are we still uh, humming as we go? You are. Uh, uh, actually, can, can I, I ask, ask her? her? I was going to say, can well, like a perception one check? One <laughs> I need everybody to make a concentration save. So you're going to... Uh, if I can still concentrate on you're humming. You're going to roll, and then you're going to add your, dex, uh, your constitution bonus. Oh, thank God. That's not bad. I got a 13 total. Okay, Connor, you managed to 15. stop yourself from humming it. You managed to stop yourself from humming it. Three. You're, you're, actually, <laughs> it was actually a crit one. Oh, yeah. That. So you you, try, you you can't stop yourself from humming okay. this melody. Can you speak words? Uh, no. The only words I can speak are once there was this girl who... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I got a 13, too. Yeah, once again, I want to stress. You guys, have, you guys don't know where you heard this from. It would be kind of funny if it was just like what we were humming was but, like, boom, boom, boom. You Protect, be smart. Kellen, Kellen, I yell. Uh, Lou was humming it. Yeah. And then when you guys heard him humming it, and now you can't. You can't. Well, you can stop and you can stop. But what did 13? You, 13? Okay, yeah, you managed to stop. Everywhere too. I go. Um, and as, you guys, no. as you guys uh, finally catch up to uh, Varnier, you see like like the, the hatch kind of shut, and you hear like a. Hey. And it's it's like one of the like what do you call those things? The the, 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 the dial, room. yeah, or whatever. Yeah, but it's on the outside. So I yell guys, through like, "What's up?" Barnier kind of like puts her hands on your shoulders. She goes, "I'm very sorry, but I can't allow anybody to leave." Are we okay, being quarantined right do. now? It is or really? I guess I go like, uh, "Well, how does it go again?" The beat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we being quarantined right now? <laughs> what is there something weird happening right now? We've all seen Lou is humming episode. angrily. You're being really so, weird right now. <laughs> so Barnier, Barnier kind of takes you guys aside and she goes, When I first arrived at Candlekeep, the avowed were concerned about a, a singing madness. A book merchant had been afflicted with it and was put in isolation after several avowed began singing the song as well. She pauses and frowns and says, I don't know what happened to him or the others. That was 600 years ago. She gathers her composure and adds, I've alerted the avowed and sealed the exit to stop whatever this is from spreading. So we got to figure this shit out. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you said we have to figure mm-hmm. this out. Mm-hmm. He, he, he just concentrates. Oh, no, so did I. So no, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything. So she goes, well, I mean, you're more than welcome to try, but mm-hmm. unless we can put an end to this thing, I'm afraid I can't let anyone leave. Okay. Um, where do we start looking? Huh. Who do we? Who do I punch? Can I attempt to ask Kellen if he knows where the song is from? Kellen, roll another concentration save for me. He's using his phone like a douche. I, 
Whatever. I don't have nice dice. Fucking two. Oof. So yeah, you man. Start using you, our dice. Yeah. You still you you can't talk. All you can yeah. do is hum. May I try and cast mm. message? And can he respond to me non-verbally? Yes, he can because it's mental. Oh, you're, you're hey. learning. <laughs> learning. So you, oh wait, by the way, Mich- Richard is meowing. <laughs> meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Richard doesn't appear to be affected in any way. Oh. Richard, <laughs> this is non-canon, but Richard is uh, humming. Meow, 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 Sapient creatures. Cast speak to animals and ask Richard what's going on. <laughs> uh, so I mean, you hum to animals. One sec, one sec. So, Stephen, you put your fingers to your forehead and point them to Lou, Special and you gunner. now uh, issue him a mental <laughs> message. What's the the piccolo weapon? What is going on? Like, where? What is the song from? I have no idea. I don't recognize the song at all. It, it just oh, no, that's like, that's it. That's you only that, get one. Thing. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I mean, you could cast it again, but I know yeah. It so mm-hmm. you could cast it as mm-hmm. cantrip. It is a cantrip, yeah. So oh, it's uh, a cast it as a ritual, I mean. But if it's a cantrip, you can just use it. Yeah. Oh, you can just use it. All right, around. but it's but it's, you can do one message at a time. Well. Somebody tell me what to punch, and then I'll be happy. So it's Bixby. It's the worst. Um, I yeah. inform them that he uh, Lou is not familiar with where the song came from. I ask. I'm gonna ask the Varmi or whatever his name is. Be like, hey, where do we start? Well, like I said, it, it was the book merchant brought something here to Candlekeep. I, if you could figure out which book it was that was brought here, maybe we could find it. Was it the books that we brought down to Catula? Was it your bathhouse book? Bathhouse book? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It, it was something that was brought here 600 years ago. Oh. Uh, Lou just tried to is... take a drink of coffee and just choked on it because he's humming <laughs> and burned himself. That's tr- fucking mendous. Yeah. That's so funny. So um, um, <laughs> back so, to the child. So here's yeah. So so here's the thing. You yeah. guys are in the uh, you guys are on the attic level now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you want to go back to the main level or do you want to go to the basement? I think the kid's the person to talk to. Yeah. Uh, oh, have we even been to the basement yet? Yes. That's, that's where, where her bedroom right? is. Your bedroom. Yeah. Is, that's where you met her. Uh, and there were some other rooms you didn't check down there. If I had to let's guess, ask, it's the shining kid that we have to Yeah, talk let's to. ask her where she, where she thinks our, we should start our search. Okay. So we go to her. Is she like just generally with us? She's, uh, no, she, she's kind of still sitting at, at the common table just... Mm-hmm. Uh, oh! Well, we we're going back to her, we notice that she's singing and going, hey! Uh, oh, you all are. I thought we stopped. No, uh, no, no. But, 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 oh, no, she... but she heard you guys doing it before. Oh, okay. Uh... So, so Tyler, do me a favor. Roll, uh, roll an Arcana check for me. Oh, yeah, baby. Plus oh, seven on whatever smart. I roll. It doesn't count. Man. Damn you, marble countertops. Fine. It's fine. I don't want to bend over. Oh, well, yeah, that doesn't happen when you use dice on I got, your phone. I got plenty more, dude. No, I got more. 18. Okay. I know. Ooh. So you don't know exactly what's happening. Oh. But <laughs> if this thing operates on the same logic that a curse does yeah whoever hears it from somebody else it is then spread to that person oh and that's why varnier locked that door so you guys can't get out of here yeah because she didn't if hear it, it yeah. spreads to upstairs it'll spread throughout the whole of the it's a, it'll be a pandemic anyway so uh i think pandemic more game. like china <laughs> the book in here. Uh, i think what okay so fuck well it's a good thing she did what she did because now the spreading isn't our concern it's the curing and we already did a concentration check to break it so right now we're not contagious so you're is that telling right? us we'll only be in this quarantine for two weeks yes yeah, that's that's the idea <laughs> but um, what about our job can we adventure remotely <laughs> that's <laughs> shut the fuck up. well listen if we put masks on our face then we don't have no one will hear it yeah you can't hear <laughs> listen first. listen if you get the second spell <laughs> slot you're fine and you can you, you don't have to wear a mask <laughs> have you seen that new play that they're putting on Just called get the tiger your lord Pfizer slot <laughs> Uh, what other, what other I got the Johnson and Johnson anti curse. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> I got the Pfizer yeah, award. Kind of anyway, get the Johnson so, and Johnson uh, shot. So we, got a, we got a couple More options. Here. Let's <laughs> talk to that kid. Okay, uh, so yeah, like I said, Gail B is humming the melody. Still the Can I ask Can a you quick speak? clarification question, real yes. quick? Because we broke the concentration and we are not humming. You are actively suppressing the urge to hum, but it's still there. Now, now my oh. thing is, is uh, while, while suppressed, we're not contagious, technically. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. 
You said if they hear it. Yes. And if but, we're suppressing, we're but, like, oh, here's the get away. Tyler, you remember when you do a, a spell that requires concentration? Uh, and you take damage so and we're all, roll? so we can get knocked out of it if right away. If something happens yeah. that breaks your concentration, you're going to sing it again. Like if plays punched me, I'd be like, I'd be like, hey, don't do it. Don't do it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so if don't stub your toe. Got it. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm uh, conveying this correctly. We really should have chosen a kiss song. You guys song. are fighting the urge to hum this song. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like that one thing. It's like, what's funnier than 24? Mm-hmm. 25. Mm-hmm. That's what we're doing. I would like to make a formal request to God to change the song we're humming to I Want to Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss. Request denied. Aww. Damn, it must have that means it has implications later. Thanks for yeah. figuring that out. So, to us. the child. Um, no, 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 no. Child! Ah! To the child! Okay! Gilby is sitting you. Exactly where I told you. You have no dominion here. <laughs> uh, I asked the kid, hey, can you stop humming or are you stuck like this? Oh, I'm sorry. I was incorrect. She's in her bedroom. Okay, well, to the bedroom. Okay. To, to the, the bedroom. child's bedroom. <laughs> Say that quieter. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody clip that. <laughs> Don't isolate that. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, can you say it one more time? What, what did you do? Uh, go to the child's bedroom. You do that, okay? She, she's there. She's just kind of like playing with her doll. Absolutely. I ask, can you stop humming, or are you afflicted by this curse? Mm-hmm. Can she could just be being brain? an asshole kid, you know. Can I truly message her and like ask her if she's in pain or anything? Shoot this, slide into this kid's right, brain uh, DMs. <laughs> um, you gotta stop saying things. Is, no, it doesn't hurt. I just can't stop humming. Have, has this ever happened down here before? No. Do you have any idea what this might be? No. Do you think there might be anyone down here that could help answer this? Mm-hmm. All right, boys. I don't think she's got a lot of insight <laughs> for us right you? now. We tried um, nothing, and we're out of options. Her in the kitchen. To the crow. Um. So she, she's a. Uh, you kind of walk on. You just hear. Ah, uh, uh, that's funny. Hit her in the messages. In the brain message. So you too. <laughs> does she? Just, oh wait. Does she just? In her brain too, or can I? conceive what so she's saying. So I'm going to say because she's a Kenku, no, it doesn't work. That's hilarious. Okay. Okay. You Not literally just peered anyways. into the mind of a turkey. <laughs> the turkey just gobbled at you. That's amazing. <laughs> seed, seed, feathers, feathers, eggs, seeds, seeds, feathers. <laughs> um... <laughs> The, the well, tw- the Twitch I, feed I, I, I don't chicken. expect to get a lot of response from the Kenku, but do you know what's going on? And away we go. <laughs> I mean, that does square um, that away. So as you guys are walking, you see kind of Cthulhu. She's got like this like kind of panic look on her face. She goes, oh, guys, I don't think I can do this. I don't do well in confined spaces. I need to go. I need to go. I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to get out. I, I need hug. to get out. I need to get out. I hug. She's kind of like still like You're, squirming. I hug anyway. She said she's claustrophobic. Sure. And you hugged her? <laughs> Roll for consent. Her, her, face, her face is like nestled in your bosom. I would like to charisma roll. Uh, okay, do a uh, to calm do my a persuasion check. A persuasion check. Okay. It's the equivalent it's of saying, "Come on, baby." Plus two, I think. So eighteen. Okay, I'm gonna say she, she 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 manages she blacks to calm out. down, but then all of a sudden she's. Just... <coughs> mm-hmm. Oh, because you calmed down. Ah, uh, stress is a good thing. Get stressed again. Get stressed again. He's calling and you just see tears pouring. <laughs> please, 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 please. This is bad. like the puppies all over again. Let, let, let go. Let go. Oh, I I've messaged pet her. this rabbit before. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I've pet that rabbit before. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not paying the court she, again. She kind of manages to push it down. And she goes, I came here to study, not to be locked up in a tomb. I guess don't calm down. So stay stressed, fam. <laughs> you smacker. <laughs> Do you realize what this means, right? They're never going to let us out of here. The cameras get spreading. We're going to stay here until we die. You're what is it? Right? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, let's smart our way out of this. We're literally locked in uh, with books. We can figure this okay, out. Okay, okay. Uh, what, what did Devarnir tell you? Uh, that uh, this has happened 600 years ago before uh, some dude got locked in quarantine because of it. And it's something that he brought. Okay. And well, people are being notified upstairs. Okay. Well, uh, if it came from a book, then that means the, the book is down here in the firefly cellar. So if you find the book, you can find the curse. And if you find the curse, you can stop it. All you have to do is find the book. Do you have a record? I, oh. I, I don't. Um, but Directory? if you wanted to find one, you might look uh, upstairs in the main level. Uh, to the main level. To the book well, depository. Before, before you guys go. Uh, <laughs> it's so- all the book depository. <laughs> 
Uh, she'll uh, tell you, you should check uh, maybe the scriptorium, or perhaps it could be in the bindery. To those. Okay. Um, are you guys all going together, or are you going to split up? I think we'll split up. Okay. Who is going to Do you ever watch a horror movie? Come on now. Uh, yeah, yeah, but for plot development... Uh, Brenda does make us do horror movie stuff every once in a while. So. We also discussed that we're like, Scooby-Doo hey, listen, now. it's up to you guys. I, I, I'm not saying you have to split up. I'm, I'm going to go to the scriptorium because it's got the word script in it. And scriptorium, I like that. okay. Anyone else? Scriptorium? What were the two options? Scriptorium or binary? Uh, binary. Split up? Uh, go with me. Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, last time. All right, Lou, you want to go the to the, around, split, the, the binding hey. repository? I made a new friend and then I walk hand in hand skipping with the <laughs> You have the humming boy with you? Yeah. Maybe we leave him somewhere. Can I cast speak with animals on someone else so they can talk to Richard? No. It ah. only affects yourself. Go ahead and do another concentration <laughs> save for me, Kellen. <laughs> use my... Use my... Oh, they can't. oh, man. No. No. I, just I like hate to you. Way with you. I feel so stupid. Dice roller hates you, bro. 16. Okay. Mm. Okay, you managed to successfully repress the urge to hum. Right. I hate this fucking song. All right, oh, real quick. If you're going to the scriptorium, raise your hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's that's me. Okay. Uh, find, okay, you guys. Find your depository. Okay, we're going to do the uh, scriptorium uh, first. Nice. Uh, so Stephen I'm and a please. I'm sexual. You can't get a lot of paper cuts. Uh, all around, fireflies <laughs> float lazily above like embers, caught in the air. Three writing desks Ooh. sit against the north wall, with a sheepskin rug beneath each one. On, I get naked and lay on it. <laughs> on, on what Project is overcome with lust. Child, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah on it's me. The, on one of the desks rests a book beside a stack of paper, along with a stoppered ink jar and a porcupine quill pen. Another desk has a leather case on it. A moldering tapestry hangs off-center on the west wall. To the southeast is a wood-paneled wall with a closed door set into it. A weak yellow glow emanates from under this door. I take two of the porcupine quill pens. I throw one to Stephen, and then I go, on guard. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, what do you do? It, it bounces off of me and falls to the ground. As I, this is like the second day with this man, and I have no idea what his sense of humor is. <laughs> I, I do a... Uh, a sw- slide whistle noise as I de-erect my pen. <laughs> <laughs> the sword becomes flies. I, I, I don't know if this is the times for jokes, please. <laughs> I. <laughs> You're new here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, there's no such thing. I've committed so many war crimes, the jokes are the only thing that keep me from just committing more war crimes. <laughs> Uh, uh, me and your mom so would get you along. Are, as you guys are, are talking, kind of, Edgar kind of walks in, and he, uh, you know, he humming. He takes, he he managed to push it down, mm. but he kind of like takes a bottle of ink and begins to leave. Hey, buddy, help! Help you with what? We're trying to solve this humming curse. Well, I wish I could tell you, but honestly, I have no idea. This has never happened here before. So, hey. what are you doing with your ink right now? Well, some of us still have work to do. I don't know if you're really going to get anywhere with that work if, you know, we spend the rest of our lives locked down here. So we might want to get this figured out. Son, if we get out, we get out. If we don't, we don't. But my work is very important here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. I really need a distraction right now. Okay? And as he's talking, you can kind of see, like, panic kind of building in his face. Can I cast friends on him? You can try. Can I try? It'll probably break his concentration. And I'll start humming. Oh, it'll for sure break yours, though. That is true. Eh. I, I, I can, yeah, I would break my concentration. Yeah, you I'll, 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 I'll... Actually, friends is a cantrip, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, you don't know. I, I, I don't think it would break your concentration, actually. I thought it you said friendship's a cantrip, It does require concentration for right? friendship. <laughs> What's that? It does require concentration for friends. Oh, well, then then it would, yeah. You'd, you'd be humming again. So, yeah, I've got a minute of humming. Eh. Uh, well, and then you have to roll. If I'm humming, can I still cast my telepathy cantrip? It does, does message require concentration? Nope. Okay, then, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Cool. Yes, you can. All right, well, then I will attempt to cast friendship on him to calm him down. All right, go for it. What, do you, what does it say to do? Uh, da, 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 da. Alliteration. 
It does not. Remember what happened when I hugged that person? The variation you have the advantage on all kinds of things directed at one Steven, don't creature that of rabbit. your choice that isn't hostile towards you. <laughs> nice. When the spell ends, the creature does that use the magic influence its mood and becomes hostile towards you. If a creature prone to violence might attack you, another creature might seek retribution in other ways. Okay, so does it does it say anything me. about rolling Wait. a save? No. Remember when I cast that will, cast that time one action, and range area self. Sometimes you gotta pet that rabbit to learn the lesson. Sometimes you gotta pet a rabbit so you don't kill a lady. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Babe, if you knew the amount of rabbits I killed before I figured out how to finger you safely, you wouldn't like it anymore. (laughs) That sentence, if it can fit on a shirt. With a picture of Summary Goblin. <laughs> and he's just doing like a thumbs up that's so, just way um, too positive. Yeah, so, so you, you, <laughs> hey. He's doing the shock. <laughs> okay, so you, you cast <laughs> it. <laughs> Alright, and, and you kind of just see like this, this kind of change over Ebder's demeanor. Uh, he looks he's, looks more receptive to your questioning now. <laughs> Ebder, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, and I w- I'm more than willing to let you get back to your work, but I... I, 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 I I'm sorry. I, I was very rude before. I just... I, I'm worried about my daughter. You know, what, what if we never get out of here? And trust me, I un- totally understand being worried about your family, but th- that's exactly why I need to get out of here. Is there anything you can think of that might help us with this situation? <sighs> well, you know, the truth is, I, I spend most of my day in the common room, I, I haven't seen anything. We well, were... I mean, unless you count that old Kenku. She she keeps shuffling through that room on her way to uh, to and from the supply closet. Other than that, I can't really tell you anything. Do you have any idea? We, we're, we're looking for a book brought I, here 600 I'm years sorry, ago. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know anything. All right. Um, we need to catch the name of this book, pretty much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I, but there must be a record of it somewhere. I'm sure if you look around, you'll find it. Do you have any idea where that may be out here? Well, if you don't find it in the scriptorium, I would maybe check the bindery. Okay. And, all right. So let, I think our best bet might be checking out these desks. Wait, aren't we, we might in be the on scriptorium? scriptorium? You're in the yeah. scriptorium now. Yeah, we're in the bindery. But there's an investigation so check. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Can we both? 14 plus something. I got a 15... And what'd you get? Kind of 14 corner? plus what modifier? Oh, that's intelligence. Really. Minus one. <laughs> yeah. So 15. 13. Okay, so so Stephen, um, you know that you can definitely tell that this is where they books that are too damaged are copied over into new books. Um, okay. the supplies for it are everywhere. Um, you also uh, you see, there's a there's a book on a desk that has a bookmark poking out of it, and it, it's just ancient. Its title has been worn away. Its pages, you you can tell just by looking at it. If you open it, pages are gonna dump out. Gross. Um, the the leather case that you saw contains mm-hmm. calligrapher supplies, and uh, there's a door. Like you kind of make out the imprint of a door set into the wallpaper. Okay. And that's not the one that you said had like the glowing under it? That is the one. Okay. Push. I push. Uh, yeah, I portray uh, this information. So to please. you guys push, but the door is very clearly locked. Can, Can you unlock it, it please? <laughs> um, well, hold on one second. Me unlocking things is me breaking things. Okay. Uh, please, <laughs> I need you to make an attack roll. Is it a fucking mimic? Hit the door. Well, um, you're, but you're trying oh, to break. You're trying before, to break. before I do that roll, I turn back and I'm like, how do we open this to man, to the boy? Well, it's a lock, son. You, you put a key in it. Okay. <coughs> you, have key. you don't the spell yard, it, son. Why yeah, might that be? I well, say. I mean, Ken, uh, <laughs> the Kenku is the caretaker. If there's keys, she probably has them. Can I just break it down? It's up to you. Let's go get the keys. Please would break. Let's go get the right. keys. So we're gonna cut away from you guys yeah. and we're gonna go back to you guys. You guys Meanwhile, you back at the plot. Let bits <laughs> and wood shavings and paper scraps litter the floor near a large workbench. Oh. Tools and contraptions are organized neatly around a handful of books in different states of disrepair. But whips and chains excite you. Stools <laughs> surround the bench. Ooh. Each one with has a leather apron draped over it. 
Oh, I thought you had. That more. is all. <laughs> Sorry, I was really. I was. I do so want to say to Protag. Tyler, uh, you would recognize that this is where they kind of like take covers and they they either like repair them or they put new covers. On them. Do, can I look for a pile that is the the pile of repaired stuff? Um. Uh, while you're looking around, yeah, there, there's there's all sorts of tools like leather working tools, book binding tools, wood carving, painting, but. You catch, out of the corner of your eye, a ledger on one of the stools. I open it up immediately and peruse. Um, as you approach it, you notice it's already open. Oh, God. And there's a list of four book titles. Sick. Uh, and every single title has repairs needed next to it. Oh, The fuck. first title is... Jake's out, Mom. The, the first <laughs> title is Festivals and Festivities of Ancient Cormier. Possibly. It says that that needs a replacement cover. Oh, okay. You uh, see, oh, so it's going to be really hard to you find. You see Living Dream... <laughs> Three Years Among Stone Giants. That one needs a new cover, according to the legend. Is the title of any of the, the books the humming book? The third one is book. Shemshime's Bedtime Rhyme, which needs a new spine. And the, <laughs> and the fourth one why is... Why was that funny? I don't know why. The they all rhyme. Guys, guys, the fourth yeah. one is Halfling Superstitions, and that one needs to be rebinded. Uh, I feel like the Bedtime Rhyme kind of fits with that tune that we've been humming. It definitely <clears throat> does sound like... And the fact Ooh. that it has the most distinct... It's the only one that is distinct from the other. Shem Shine's bedtime rhyme. It needs a better spine. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we gotta we we focus on looking so, for that book. So you focus um, on looking for it, Tyler. Um, you on the bench. Yeah. You see <laughs> festivals and festivities of ancient Cormier. Well, it's pretty. You see living a dream, three years among stone giants, and you see halfling superstitions, but you don't see Shem Shine's bedtime. Rhyme. Son of a whore. See there it is. Can I take the? Can I take the um, the 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 second one with the mountain people? The, the Stone Giants? Thanks, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Um, I put that away because I want to read that to you later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put you to sleep with it. But, it. but it does need to be fixed. My big junk baby. Can I take it without uh, damaging it more? I mean, I, I suppose... It's just missing a cover, right? Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, I suppose if you're gentle with it... You know. I mean, I am a giant metal robot. How can I not be gentle? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, a rabbit. Is, is there anything else you guys would like to do in this oh, room? Um, no. Can we... There's no more information in that like record book of like what needs no, what. No, I mean it's it's really a room where the things there that it's that work that's worked out in it, does, it's not in there, so it's kind of useless. Yeah, it seems. yeah. Uh, I do wanted to mention to Protect. I have Warding Wind, which deafens. So one of a, I could presumably mm. that could that could be I could thing. presumably get out of here deafening people around me, so they it doesn't spread it. I would lose concentration and be humming, but can I turn my ears off? Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Just be like, um, so we're going to cut real back, uh, real quick back to Steven and uh, please. To Kanku Town. You guys are in the kitchen and uh, you, <laughs> you you notice that uh, that Crinkle is kind of like washing dishes. Uh, tweet, tweet. You got some keys there, buddy. <laughs> for the scriptorium or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, we're trying to save everybody from humming to death. She holds the keys. <laughs> well, would you take us, open it, and then you can go? Please. She kind of like takes off uh, like a like a piece of like she has like a loose piece of paper and she goes, mm -hmm. "Leave fireflies alone." And she underlines "alone" three times. Are there fireflies in the scriptorium? <laughs> we're not. We we don't want anything to do with the fireflies. We're just trying to solve the humming. Make a persuasion check. Uh, fifteen plus one, sixteen. <laughs> she she kind of grumpily slaps him down <laughs> in your hand. Thank you. <laughs> And away to the scriptorium. I thank her and leave behind him. Yeah. <laughs> that is how I walk everywhere, by the way. Okay. Just like a goofy toddler. <laughs> so, just um, sprinting you guys you. Even into a fist fight. <laughs> I got little legs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll get him, baby legs. You don't know, have to do it. Thanks, Ray. Right. Like, baby legs. <laughs> so, you guys, you guys are back in the scriptorium. Yep. Door, multi tapestry. What are we? What are we doing? Oh, Woldy Tapestry. Now that you mention it, Polonius, you bitch, get out of there. Oh, okay. Um, the so, deep cut Hamlet so reference. Please, Fuck. Um, <laughs> you notice, like Shakespeare, that the the tapestry is kind of <laughs> hanging crooked, uh, and you can make out words scratched into the wall, but you can't read, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, damn it! The illiterate found it. it. <laughs> I point at words and say, 
Uh, hey, dude, would you read this to me? Pop-pop. Actually, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to try and sound it out and have him correct me. N- no, yeah. stop! <laughs> Give it to me letter by letter. I like the idea of please being like bedtime What's stories. A letter? <laughs> or you could just show me the... Bedtime! <laughs> we can't go to bed now, buddy. We got to break the curse. Bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> to please um, words, reading means bedtime. <laughs> so, um, Stephen, as you investigate the word scratching the wall... They go like this. <laughs> see a mother seething wheat, forgotten husband sleeping near. With one swing, she took his feet. With another, took his ear. Does the shadow have a name? Shemshine. Shemshine. Causes grief, avoids the blame. Shemshine. Shemshine. See a dog that knows how to heal, never heeds plea nor command. Mother gave it a tasty meal. Dog chose instead to eat her hand. The third verse goes like this. See a son doing his chore, washing clothes for folk in town. Fell oh. into the river's roar, sank to the bottom, and drank. And that's that's it. It's just three verses, and then the refrain. Does the shadow have a name? Shemshine. So you could have been getting down to this sick uh, beat. I can't meta game. I wasn't. I wasn't there when he saw all the Shemshine little drawing. Shemshine, get come to the phone right Awkward. now. Awkward. Jeez. Oh man. <laughs> all right. Well. I'm not really sure what to make out of all huh? of this, but uh, sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, wow, you really are. Like, just, you actually, I don't like a light on that one. It's hard you? to read. <laughs> it hurts my head. <laughs> and when people read to me, I just fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> they um, call it ADHD. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I kind of try and commit that to memory the best possible. But okay. was this carved really into the wall? It's been it. scratched into the wall. Uh, do we? Can I tell what scratched it into the wall? If you had to guess, probably a knife or a dagger. So not the Cancun. Mm-mm. How how tall does it reach up? Is it taller than a kid? Uh, <laughs> is it about child size? It <laughs> looks about child height. So a kid. But, mm, investigation. But, but, but the way it's written, a kid wouldn't know these words. Oh, fuck. A kid so possessed by a song would. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's not a shirt. Uh, I believe we're dealing with it. A... I want both of you to roll a perception check. 15 minus 114. Okay. Steven? Perception is intelligence modifier, right? I think perception is the, more of a 15. Uh, so, zero, Steven, then. you 15. get the feeling from, from, the, from the grooves, this was carved a long time ago. By possibly Immortal baby. a merchant? Maybe like 600 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not a like... stonemason. <laughs> uh, th- this has been here for a while. I'm part I brick wall. Relay that information to please All that right. this has been here for a long time. Um, you guys do. Also I say about 600 years. <laughs> no stonemason. So, uh, <laughs> so Damn it, man. I'm a doctor, not a stonemason. To the door. Walks right. up to the door, looks at it with the key, kicks door down. Yeah. <laughs> the key means you're allowed to go into the door, is what he thinks. Some naked gun shit. Like, I have the key. <laughs> How did you get in here? I'm a locksmith, after and I broke the down the door. The, door. <laughs> the small room is awash in the glow of thousands of fireflies. The luminescent insects flit around inside more than a dozen glass terrariums that fill shelves along the walls. A steady plinking noise results from their bouncing off the glass. Shallow wooden boxes are packed in the lowest shelves. Wow, could you imagine fucking in here? <laughs> you both look at that you or please? <laughs> <laughs> That's please. <laughs> are any of the fireflies loose or are they all jarred up? They they're, look like they're being kept in the terrariums. Okay. okay. Uh, you definitely get the sense, Stephen, that this is where they breed the fireflies. Oh, Can you imagine yeah. fucking in here? Yeah. <laughs> Cuts to um, different groups saying the same exact thing. Oh, I wish Lou was here to pe- cast speak with animals. Can I do an investigation <laughs> check in this room? See if there's anything else. Um, actually, the... make it a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo. 15. 15. Okay. So, Stephen, you, you kind of realize that there's been some scratches in the floorboards. And you read the sentence. Fuck scratches. Finish the rhyme. Uh, Finish the rhyme. Oh, and so our th- friends happen to be looking for a rhyming book. But you don't know that. Yes, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I forgot I didn't know that. Aha! Um, you see, I've been defeated by you. <laughs> <laughs> just playing directly into my trap card. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, other than that, another fly has entered the spider's boxes. web. 
Interesting. Um, can we look through any of the boxes, see if there's anything? Yeah, so the boxes, they kind of contain some kind of liquid nutrient. Um, you don't know exactly what it is, but it's it's probably what the fireflies eat. Firefly. Oh, that's, that's Can nice. I attempt to feed some of them? <gasps> um, make an animal handling check. No, the lady said don't touch the fireflies. Also, I have such she, good animal she handling. She can't talk. The, but she did. She wrote it down. She very the sen- clearly indicated the sentiment. Oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. underlined it I mean, three okay, times. And I mean, as long as you're not hurting the fireflies, you're probably fine. Uh, yeah, Lenny, uh, touch the butterfly. Uh, so you you kind of dip a little bit of the nutrient on your finger, and you kind of reach it into the glass, and like a bunch of fireflies kind of like come on your finger, and they're you know eating it. And you, uh, have, you have a bunch of fireflies on your finger. You're getting eaten. <laughs> yeah. I try and wipe them back into their home or whatever. But you do that. Wipe right. them back into their home. <laughs> just the me Hobby when I'm done it. masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what they eat? Bird jizz? <laughs> oh, no. That's why the birds are caretakers. Oh, <laughs> the biz. Anyways, uh, I think we go find our friends and see if they perhaps know of a book that might tell right. us the right yeah. so, so as you guys leave, like... South of you, you see uh, Lou and Protect also leaving their room. Ours was uneventful. What did you guys find? I f- we found a rhyme that needs to be completed. <laughs> I found we know a what lot book. of scratches. <laughs> <laughs> we found a cool room to fuck in if you guys want to see it. I swear suddenly, to God, I thought you were going to say if you guys want to go fuck. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly a shrill sound tears through the Firefly Cellar, overpowering all of the noise. Oof, that Though shrill. Though it rapidly rises to an uncanny pitch, you recognize it's Ebder's voice. I go that you way. Rush back to Ebder. Yeah. To the Ebder depository. <laughs> kind of like writhing on the floor, you hear Ebder going, See a mother scything wheat, forgotten husband sleeping near. With one swing she took his feet, with another took his ear. Does the shadow have a name? Shem shine, Shem shine. And from the look on his face, you get he is trying to stop. But it's, it's like his body's betraying him and he can't stop singing. Hey, buddy, stop it, stop whoa, singing. I can't hear myself think. It's not even a to, slant rhyme, you he piece He just of sang shit. the verse that we needed. We just saw. Yeah. No. No, it's the one no, that we just saw. No, we read that one. Oh, we read that one. That's what we need. Foreseeably, whichever verse you need was not scratched on the floor. I, I informed them that this Shem, is what we... I don't remember the Shem Shem part. Yeah, because that's what I was. Well, you fell asleep, you dip nuts. You dip nuts. I informed them that that's what was... Um, and I inform them and, that we and, are and, looking and, for a book guys, named real Shem Shem. Quick, real quick, yep. as this is happening, all the jar lamps and fireflies, they just go completely dark. And you guys are in complete pitch black. Ew. No bueno. They kind of flicker on a little bit, and then they go back out. We didn't do that, did we? I, I didn't mean to. I, it was just one jar, <laughs> I swear. Bird's going to be mad. Hey, how about we just Boobie say boys. you didn't do this? Who fed the flies? <laughs> uh, I light a torch. You want to light a torch. So as you try to, you realize that the, the flame won't start. Won't stay. And, uh, Shield up, boys. Varnier, Varnier kind of runs up to <laughs> clickety, clickety. It's not going to work. There's a there's a, a protective ward that doesn't allow fire in here. It's a safety. Concern. It's a book place. Oh, because yes. books. Yes. Um, so what, not, fair would a minor mm-hmm. illusion count as a light source? Can I have like a light source? Unfortunately, it's Major not. Light. I don't have that. I got to ask you about your I don't know, actually. I think as an illusion, it wouldn't be real, right? Your shocking um, grass is going to be like illuminate. It's like a taser. <laughs> yeah, right. I just tasers myself on accident again. Damn it. <laughs> we can't make progress unless we're tasing someone. <laughs> I mean, what are we, is cops? the American way. <laughs> um, and as, as all this is happening, you kind of hear like these small footsteps running up sty- upstairs, and you just hear like, Daddy, what's wrong? What, what's happening? Everything's See falling apart. See a dog that knows how to heal. Oh, God. Never eats plea nor command. Mother gave it a tasty meal. Dog chose instead to eat her hand. And you feel like a pair of hands like tugging on you. Like, please, what's happening to him? We is need- he going to be okay? He's going to be okay. We just need to find a book. Please, didn't she draw pictures of all these? Yes. Of, all, of everything that's happening? So do you remember the last... She, she only drew three pictures. That's three verses. We need the fourth verse. Who's drowning someone? Effects. <laughs> what? Uh, no, the drowning one is the next verse. It's the third verse, yeah. Yeah, yeah. as you say, so who's drowning? She's gone through two verses. Uh, can I use Druidcraft? Because Druidcraft can have me a light turn on if the weather's a certain way. Sure. So can I just like trial and error until I get the right weather? <laughs> well, fortunately for you, outside of Candle Keep, it's a sunny day. So. Okay, then I say I do a, dru- a Druidcraft to have a, a mage light 
light up if it's sunny out. You do. Um, uh, Ebder is still writhing on the floor, mm -hmm. and he keeps singing the verses over and over again, starting over after he mm -hmm. finishes the first. Child, it's go put a hard. wallet in your dad's mouth, and let's figure out, <laughs> find out where this book is. Creepy as fuck, man. Uh, so I ask you the people... You guys stop talking to me like that, man. <laughs> I, I walk, ask the people who are conscious about the book that they just told me about. Um, so then suddenly Ebder stops singing and just kind of like falls asleep. Okay. Uh, I the wallet Oh, he's, he's asleep. He's definitely not dead. No, he's not dead. Okay, good. It's kind of like when someone who has a seizure just goes to sleep. You're like, oh, well, okay. Yeah, well, they're <laughs> if fine. To, if I had to pick something, you know, it's happened. I'd rather have you asleep than seizing. Yeah, right. Uh, or dead. I asked the conscious people yeah. about the book we need. Shemshan's bedtime rhyme? Yeah. It needs a new spine. You know, I do remember seeing it. There was a, a music box in the spine of the book. I think it was gnome made? There was a Fucking music... gnomes. A gnome fucked my wife. I hate yeah. those little shits. <laughs> uh, we need to find that to stop this from happening. So. Well, it should have been with all the other books. It, it wasn't was. in the bindery. Oh, well, then I, I don't know where it would be. A gnome fucked my wife t-shirt. Sorry. <laughs> you always need to find that book. Whatever this is, it's getting worse. All right, listen, well, we Deadfly can... Gunky, what's the kid's name? Gailby. <laughs> Gailby, where did you see those pictures that you drew? I don't dreams. know. They were just a dream I had. Did you have any other dreams? Wait, what pictures? The pictures that the kid drew. But, but Stephen wouldn't know that. He oh. wasn't there. He's, he's role-playing. Good job. Uh, <laughs> oh, the kid drew some pictures that are basically those verses of the rhyme, like a guy with his feet cut off. And then a dog that ate someone's hand. Kid's a problem. Hand. Anyway. <laughs> that kid is a problem. Kid is a problem. So he's got to know something. The kid. Well, I assume or, that the prophet. Oh, I, I bet the kid is dreaming about that because she read the, the book. Kid. So the kid is dreaming about it. So it's going to be near the kid. I don't know where the book is. I promise. I would tell you if I did. Shake's I, child. I think though. it just might be near your room, dude. Gal. But, but, but I don't have it. It wouldn't be in my room. Please shock and grasp until she says something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. For the audio <laughs> listeners, we got a very disapproved look. Like, to check if the kid's lying. I use Melf's acid arrow to get the kid to talk. Well, I wanted to assume the kid is lying and try and make her trust me enough to tell me the truth. Again, but you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Okay, so let me check if so she's lying first. Can I use animal handling on the kid? I get a ten plus. What's the modifier? I'm uh, just going to let you know. Either. No, but I'm what? Quite persuasion, persuasive intelligence. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> I, I might have like a plus So, Brendan, she's up against the wall. I take <laughs> no, Mel's... Yeah, why, take wait, why are we having Steven do this? I take <laughs> Mel's ass arrow. I stab the wall over so it's dripping towards her. I'm, I'm quite the nice fella. I would love to talk with this small child if need be. So, uh, uh, do that. Well, it's the I only time a, that's a good sentence. To check if she's lying. Yeah, man. I'd love to talk to your small child if I could. You get the feeling that with her dad... Being this way, if she knew, she would probably tell you. Ooh, that's a good point. But Remind her that her dad being sick is her fault and see if um, that jogs her memory. <laughs> also, they're getting a divorce. Uh, Stephen, did you want to do something? And that's her fault, too. Yes, we, exactly. We've already been to the room that they rebind books in, correct? Correct. Uh, and there was nothing there. Nope. There was a manifest with books, but one of the books was missing. Who was the dude who wouldn't fucking stop working? That's Edgar. He's on the floor. That's the one that's, that's on the, the floor, yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, shit. Uh, can we check around Edgar's desk? Like, in it and such? Uh, you see a few stacks of books, uh, a few pieces of parchment. None of them Shemshine? Nope. Do you have any idea why he's getting so... We he's more worked up about in search. Uh, I don't think it's in there. Um, so. Varnier <laughs> says... Um, if this thing is a curse, then it gets more and more powerful over time. But why would it affect him faster than the rest of us? I don't know. Maybe you guys are just hardier somehow. Huh. We do. Isn't it? I mean, people, listen, Ebter, he's a wonderful man, but he's usually anxious even at the best of times. Mm. Okay, well. I think we started the bottom floor started looking our way up. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Just brute force search. Well, let's do an investigation check. On each row of books. All right. Well, <laughs> um, but before you guys do that, you suddenly hear a voice you haven't heard before singing Dad? a song. Mama? Papa? Uh, <laughs> Fiber? No, mine's dead. See mine's definitely dead. Father scything wheat, forgotten husband sleeping near. Kellen's dad? <laughs> it sounds like it's coming from where you guys just were. Go. We go we, there to the to the there um, depository. As you as you walk in, you hear like the the sound emanating from the firefly room, and as you go into the firefly room, you definitely hear like a muffled like, 
Does a shadow of a name, Shem Shaim, Shem Shaim? It sounds like it's coming from the floor somewhere. Uh, I need everybody who's there to roll me an investigation check. I got a five. <laughs> I think I'm going to roll 15 every time. 15. <laughs> uh, no, what's the modifier? Uh, for investigation? Yeah. Uh, it's, intelligence. It's, invest, it's investigation. Okay. Uh, then I have... Yeah, go to, your, go to your skills. Mm-hmm. Go to your settings mm-hmm. and go to finer options. And then look for investigation. There it is. Okay. Investigation is intelligence. I have a plus one for that. And I roll a nine. Want? Ten. Okay, so um, Stephen and uh, uh, Protech. Yeah. You guys notice it's coming from the floorboards, and you find a couple of loose ones, and inside you see like a skull. Like, a skull? It's just a skull, and it's singing I, to you. I, I use Mage Hand to pick it up. You pick it up. It's still singing. I don't want to touch it. Can I use my Give Mage Hand to Give it to Keller to, to do mouth? Shakespeare with. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> it's just humming. It, it's still singing. Can I use my Mage Hand to hold this mouth shut? That's funny. Oh. That's pretty funny. Um, can I put Jiffy peanut butter on the roof of its mouth? <laughs> Damn it. It's bullshit. Um, uh, no. That would make it open its mouth more. That's yeah, I won't be able to say it. Would have to, it would have to lick the roof of its mouth. That yes. won't work. It's not a dog skull. <laughs> I look at of course, it, and obviously. this being my first adventure, go, well, this is definitely a first. <laughs> it's still saying This kind of shit does happen to us uh, a lot. Yeah, lose like fourth time. In the hole. <laughs> Is there anything else Return. in the head hole? Um, Shat- Shatter skull, like spikes it like a football player. The rest of a body. I'm going to protect the back of its head. <laughs> <laughs> so the, 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 the nook where you guys found it, it's five feet across and five feet deep. And you see two humanoid bodies. Uh, one of the skulls has a hole in the back of it. <laughs> protect. Relatable. And then, uh, but the other one does not. Did the hole look like it was made by... The, the one that is singing is the one with the hole in the back. What And the other one doesn't? And isn't oh, the other singing? one doesn't. No. Uh, I oh, look can inside I, I have... the hole. Oh, yeah. I, it's just what I told you. There's just a the hole? Two humanoid remains. No, no, no. I look inside the hole in if the skull. If that bird oh, it's putting um, me in some okay. floorboards. Roll a medicine <laughs> check for me. 13. Yes, that's a three. Plus two, I think. So, so um... A definitely a bladed weapon stabbed him in the back of the head. Mm. And that's what got him. That'll do it. But Perhaps the same dagger but that the other skull, the... as I said, does not Carved have any holes. So Just... police would be able to put together clearly the person stabbed this person to keep them quiet and then eventually died either of just like malnutrition or starvation or something. So somebody was hiding down there? So wait, yeah. So remember what uh, Varnier told you. There was a singing madness. They had to quarantine some people. They left him down here to fucking die. Yeah, but why would they quarantine him in a... In a... Oh, wait. They're doing that to us. So we're not <laughs> getting out of here. We, we got to find what this dude didn't... No, but why are, Why would they quarantine them under some floorboards? Yeah. Why would no, they he be under floorboards? I think after they... They probably went down after they died or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they probably went, okay, he's dead. We'll just go back. And they didn't know that he went insane and probably hit himself under the floorboards. They were just like, oh, there's two people not here anymore. Moment. Cool. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, going insane. I uh, by the, can I use the helm perception. of the comprehending of languages? Does Shemshine mean anything? Or is it just a name? <laughs> is it just, it's a slur. It's, I mean, it's not like a different language okay. or anything. Okay. Yeah. Just a name, then. Just, just a, just appears to be a name. Um, um, can we not find that book? You Maybe. guys, you guys could try asking someone about Shemshine's bedtime rhyme. Maybe you get some more information. Didn't I, I do that to everybody? Say. You asked where it is. You didn't ask what it is. Oh. I would can I just say... start shooting messages? How far are these people from us? But to not waste time, can I just start shooting messages through a couple walls? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go here real quick. Look at message and tell me what the range on that is. I believe they have to be within 30 feet of you. And it can't be separated by uh, stone walls or something? It's less for, depending on like how thick the wall is. Or what material the wall is? Yeah, this is really thick stone. So unless you, can... I just go back and talk to him. Yeah, it's 120 feet from message. It is one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood blocks. The spell. Yeah, I'm gonna say the stone's probably just a little too thick. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. Then... Alrighty. Well, I guess we're doing a lot of walking, boys. Let's head back up to the kid and the bird lady. I uh, just removed my head and just died. I just <laughs> powered out. 
Um, um, yeah, so you, you see um, Gail B is kind of like kneeling down next to her dad. She's, she's kind of like slowly patting his hand. Uh, he still appears to be unconscious, and Varnier is kind of trying to comfort her. Okay. Uh, Varnier, do you know anything about the Shemshine book, like what it's about, other than that one rhyme we know? <sighs> well, uh, I remember it was a, a local nursery rhyme. Um, apparently some bard learned it, uh, put it into a book that had a music box that actually sang the rhyme to the reader. Oh, very <laughs> beautiful thing. Well, evidently. It's, I, in, I, it's enchanting, even. I remember the, the music box was damaged somehow, mm. and that's why it ended up here. If we had okay. known how dangerous it actually was, we, well, we, we probably would have sent it to the vaults. Not let to get it down. Well, huh. uh, it must we, be it must be down in the room with those other two. I was going to say, can we fill him in on what we just found? Oh, yeah, Varnier, we did find some dead folk. Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> buried the way. lead a bit. Um, we did. We found two skeletons under the floorboards. We in, had a hole in the back of its head. You right. know, and it, oh, I, I chain style. Oh, and one more thing, Columbo style. Uh, the skull was singing at us. Just, just one more thing. Is the skull supposed to be singing at us? It is a skull. Well, it is singing. <laughs> so, <laughs> do dead bodies generally sing after they die? Around I don't know how Candlekeep uh, is. Then, no. I'm sorry. It, yeah, it was. It was the skull was singing. Was that weird? Just Brendan one more. Like, it's a skull, so <laughs> no. Okay, well it is. Yowen Pilt. That was the book merchant. He brought the book here to Candlekeep. You must have found yes. his remains. Yes, but who's the other one? Did anyone else get quarantined down here with him? Yes, there, there were some avowed that were unfortunately stuck down here with him. We, All right. They couldn't risk the song spreading to everyone upstairs. Did any of them have holes in their skulls when they were alive? <laughs> it's a trait we care yeah. about the most. No. Okay, so then the skull was definitely like he was stabbed. One of them killed the other. I don't know if it was the avowed that killed the merchant or which way around. But Well, I, I suppose if you kill the victim of the curse, they can't spread the curse to other people. I would suggest we find a different... She, she, uh, she puts solution. her hand in She goes, let's just keep that as an absolute last resort. I would agree. Uh, I, I guess... We gotta go back down to that room Please and see if he puts his mace back away. <laughs> Did we check for the book under the floorboards? Loud yeah. Yeah, yeah, all you found Shh. in the floorboards was the remains. That's okay. It. Wait, is that was that the Firefly room? Yes. Okay. Uh, this feels like when I get lost in a dungeon in Skyrim. <laughs> Can we go talk to uh, the the skull is still singing by the way? Can we go oh, talk to all birdie birdie now it's like and be oh, like, look what we found in the it. Firefly room. <laughs> Take it. Actually, the birdie was very worried about the firefly room, um, yeah. so that so might as be. You guys, as you guys finish talking, suddenly you notice the shadows on the wall from the from the lance. They start to kind of like take shape, and they step off of the wall. I hit it with they a mace. Advance towards you guys menacingly. I hit it with a mace. Yeah, we're gonna uh, fight those guys. <laughs> we're, we're gonna hit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Hang on, I'm gonna get a thing. Aw, Steven, okay. our first fight. <laughs> to him as the fight begins. As you take a blade to the mouth, like, <laughs> and it doesn't affect me. So, oh, cute! You rolled a nineteen. Breaks his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! While we're doing this transition, yeah, I'm putting myself in between obvi- the normal please defense position. Brennan, are we clickety clacketing about to get attacking? You sure are. I am the wall that you guys shoot from behind. Right, you're the trench. We wanted to name it Rambo. I don't know, <laughs> magic, I guess. Fireball <laughs> or whip. Or ice knife. Or ice knife. I make somebody knife. laugh really hard. What? Ooh, I can make Joker somebody style. laugh really hard. Oh, well, or you could just give me bonuses. Would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Adam with a book. Welcome to... The uh, team number door. Hope you survive the experience. <laughs> you guys remember Welcome that to the Thunderdome. Welcome to the dead. Welcome to die. Um, yeah. He's drawing a penis bad. for those of you who are listening. Which oh, it's is all of you. It's so veiny. No, I, I, I realized I forgot to draw the table. Ah. Oh, um, so as this is happening. No. Um, Gailby, uh, they kind of, they, she, she kind of scoops up Gailby, and um, uh, we're, we'll, we'll do it this way. Um, Crinkle kind of runs up and, and episode break. <coughs> oh, sh- that oh, too. Cliffhanger. I mean both. Well, let's do an episode break after the uh, 
Orgy? After the, uh, and now there's people attacking <laughs> us from the walls. Yeah. yeah, episode break, and now we're back. Okay, great. Uh, well, <coughs> before we come back, I need to replace the batteries on this. Yeah. So go ahead and hit pause on that. <coughs> you guys want to take five? Is like... that the red button? Yeah, yeah just hit the red button. 